touch on being visually impaired, um, we always wondered, how does he see things? How does he perceive things? So we tried different things to see what he could draw, and there was really no rhyme or reason to what he was drawing. So we realized he doesn't know what shapes are, and when you draw, everything is shapes. So we started giving him stencils and showed him what a circle is. You can give somebody a ball and say it's a circle. You can give somebody a dish and say it's a circle, but they're really not circles. They're a spear and a disc. So by taking a stencil, he was able to feel the outline of the circle, and then we gave him pens, markers, and he started to follow circles. Now he fully understands what a circle is, so we're expanding to different shapes to teach him what shapes are. But this Sudi Kappa thing just changed everything for him. I mean, he was able to, uh, you know, show some artistic skills that he has, you know, and, he, and he's progressing. He wasn't able to do like a, a, a hexagon. He would not go to the edges. Well, after three, four months now, I mean, it was a big moment for me, to, you know, for any other family would go, well, so what? But to me, it was amazing that he could go to every corner now. He's actually touching them now. And we, we had a struggle with that. His dad um, helped us make some little jigs for him to make some stencils. So like the cross, um, he uses um, little wooden jigs or plastic stencils. And then we purchased him some pretty good supplies, some really nice ink pens for him to use on watercolor paper. And then when he's done with the piece, we might ask a volunteer to sit with him and they would then um, help him guide his hand into the watercolor and then he picks colors that he wants to put on each piece. To show Sean what colors are, because he doesn't know what colors are, we decided we'd think of things that he knows, like water, it's cool. So that's our blues and our greens. The sun, it's warm. So that's the yellows and the oranges, and that's kind of how we try to teach him what color is. Um, when we first met Sean, he never wanted to get his fingers dirty in any way, shape, or form. And being down here, we've really encouraged him to try new things, kind of branch out a little bit, not be so shy. So now he's smearing Mod Podge on things and he is okay with it. And I think that's all led into some really cool things at home because now he's helped bake cookies, which he'd never do before because you get your fingers dirty. So he's adventuring into new things. What I like to do for fun is um, I like I like listen. I like listen to, to music on my computer, on, online radio. I like online. I like listening to uh, radio stations online. Sean's nickname is Mr. iPod because he's able to name any song within the first three notes of it being played. So it's pretty awesome. He can sing anything. Uh, they used to have fun with him when he was at the Black Hills Workshop. The other one. And they, they put on a tune and he could almost know almost every classic song in just three, four notes. Any of them. He has gotten into singing the national anthem at, uh, he started here at Black Hills Works at one of our Special Olympics events. Uh, the first time that he did it, he was very, very nervous, but he has really grown into that. For the land of the free and the home. my son.